Well, Charlie, Congressman Dutch Ruppersberger and State Department officials have finally been able to get Libyan officials to admit that they have Matthew in custody. For months now, the Libyan government has denied knowing where he is. The government there is now confirming they have the journalist in a prison there. Now the mission for his family and girlfriend, Lauren Fisher, turns to bringing him back home safely. Matthew disappeared back in March, and no one knew where he was. But Congressman Dutch Ruppersberger, along with the State Department, put pressure on Libyan officials. Van Dyke's girlfriend says he went to Libya in March because he was writing a book and wanted to witness the civil unrest firsthand. It's been a hard five months for her and her family. Not just that knowing that he's alive, because I mean we we pretty much knew that, but having a location, um, I mean that's just been the biggest thing. You know, waking up every morning and going to bed every night and not not knowing where he is. Now, Congressman Ruppersberger says he doesn't know why Libyan officials have detained him or he doesn't know how he's being treated over there. The congressman does say he will continue to put pressure on that government to get him released. We're live in Baltimore. Linda So, ABC 2 News.